Hi, I'm Christine. Today we're looking at the color evolution of Duchess Kate. Over the years, Kate has, in my opinion, succeeded with colors and styles that suit her incredibly well, more than any other person I know of in the public eye. But her job places certain constraints on her presentation, just like the rest of us. And over the years, she has become a mother, she has gotten older, she gets color advice from all over the place, just like the rest of us. So we're going to look at her changing colors over the years. We're not going to really talk about styles very much, unless a style somehow impacts the way we see a color or how well the color is working for the woman wearing it. So let's go ahead and look at our first picture. Here's our first picture. So we're going back to 2006 here. And I'm just taking a moment to just open the email and, and see what this picture looks like. First thing I think about is how nice her hair is. It frames her face. I can see her eyes, her lips, her nose. She wouldn't need a whole lot of makeup. She has a nice slender uh, silhouette to her face, just coming from the hair color, the relationship between the hair and the skin. Nice color of blush in the cheeks. Compare this to the video we did recently of blondes going brunette, where when the hair is too light, the face starts to look chubby. The bones don't come to a nice sharp point, so everything looks kind of rounded and flattened. Uh, that's not going on here at all. That hair color is lovely. Next thing that I notice is look at the white of the bodice of her dress or the shirt behind her. And now look at the white of her teeth and her eyes. The teeth and the eyes look grayer because this brilliant white is surrounding them. People see color by comparing to whatever is around. So if Kate were going to buy a white, she would buy a softer white, maybe a little bit warmer white, so that her teeth and the whites of her eyes can be whiter or clearer than, uh, than they appear in this picture. Here, by comparison with a white shirt, her teeth look, sort of look maybe a bit yellow or gray, and the whites of the eyes are a little bit the same way. Picture number two, Kate in her disco days. We all have them. I, I certainly do. Back when I had orange pants and that wasn't that long ago either. Um, so you're looking, you take in the big picture, all you can really see is the top, the shorts and the band around the top of the boots. Sure, it's a costume. It was meant to be a costume or I think it was. It would be a costume in any era. But if she wore clothes in these colors in today's styles, they would step in front of her the same as they do in this picture. When you look at the whole photograph, you are looking at the top of the shorts, the band around the top of the boots. You can't really see Kate. She's, you're aware that there's a body there, but you can't make out any of the details. What I do like about this picture always with Kate is her hair color. If I were her, her or her colorist, I'd stick this picture to my mirror because that's the reset point. If you get highlights, leave your base color because that is the reset point. That's what you need to know where, where you start, what your home base is. Over the years, if silver comes in, great. If a soft pewter base or highlight is put in, great. Does that hair look to you or this woman look to you like blonde highlights are going to get better? Nope. She won't look nearly as expensive as we know Kate can look. Would you see warm, like coppery or a warm butterscotch? Not me. I, I would see maybe pine cone. Um, but if she were my client, I'd say, Kate, leave your hair alone. It, it, it is just beautiful the way it is, and the way it silvers is going to be just beautiful the way it is for all of us. Okay, let's, uh, let's go on. we got lots of pictures to look at. Let's look at our next one. Oh, here we're on to the next picture. Kate in a sapphire dress. Uh, I'm glad this picture's here. I've always loved this picture. I like this dress on her. I think she wears blue well. Uh, it is dark enough. It, you don't think that this is black or anything like that. It's really nice looking. The amount of shine is great. The sequins we just saw previously, it's too much. It's it's just hard on the eyes. It, it becomes um, unconvincing, let's say, whereas this sort of diffused shine is really lovely on her. 
it looks great with her hair. Her hair looks rich, luxurious. Everything looks terrific. If we were going to enlarge this and look at her makeup for a minute, nice lips, nice blush. They're all, they're all fine. The, there seems to be an awful lot of eyeliner and that can be a fashion. It can be something that young people do. It can happen in certain parts of the world. People wear makeup like that. Uh, for me, it would be a distraction if I met Kate, if I was interviewing her or if she were interviewing me, let's say, I would be quite preoccupied with this eyeliner. And it, I would try to talk to the eye, but I would be talking to the eyeliner. And then we have William. Well, he's in the picture. I mean, it would be rude not to talk about him because he's right there. So what do we think about William? Um, pretending that this is a couple standing by the fireplace, you walk into the party, so you're kind of looking at the big picture. And when I look at him, his body looks bigger to me than his head. This happens when men wear jackets or shirts that are too big or too bright, too something. It gets bigger in our awareness and they, they seem big and then the head has no choice in the comparison but to get smaller. If his suit were just dusted down a little bit, a little less ink maybe, or if his shirt were not quite such a sharp white, maybe something closer to the fireplace than this very sharp white, I think that would be an improvement. There's also something in his head that it has some sunshine in it. Um, I don't know if it's warm or cool, but he's got some yellow in him, in his hair and even in his skin. Then there's nothing about his clothing that is meeting that or acknowledging it or developing it. And when our clothes, so what happens is our clothes don't look connected to us. Like there, there's no reason for him to be exactly wearing that. And so there's a sense when that happens that it looked like you borrowed your, your clothes. Like there's somebody else's clothing and you're just wearing them for the picture because they're not yours for a reason. They have no particular reason to be on your body. Here's Kate arriving at an airport. I'm sure that celebrities are asked to wear these bright colors in these situations so that they can be seen in a crowd. The dress is a little brighter than she is. I am more aware of the dress than I am of the woman. It takes an effort for me to look at her face and keep looking at her face. My eyes keep wanting to go down to the dress, but a lot of it works for her. She does wear blues and greens really nicely. The hair is warm, but I don't, there must be enough warmth in the color of the dress. It's okay. Um, I think what makes this color work on her is the style because it has a simplicity to it and there's a strictness to the pleats, the length of the dress. A lot of the style here is helping improve this when we wear color that is brighter than ours. Sometimes uh, where you choosing a simple style is a good way to go, especially as women get used to wearing their colors and they think, wow, that just seems so bright. Wearing them in a simpler style is a really good thing to do. Of course, in a month, they're gonna, it's going to be very normal for them. We just need a little time to recognize ourselves. So nice dress, bright for her. Um, accessories are softer. And they seem to be, they seem to be quite okay. The accessories and the dress those colors grew on different trees maybe but I'm not ignoring the accessories and I can see why she would pair them with this dress they're both blue green and that's that's a pretty good look for her the previous dress was from 2014 and this one is from 2014 as well and it, it, you know maybe that this is when Kate was uh, just doing really really well with styles and colors this I find is beautiful. I am not more aware of the clothing than I am of the woman. So when the clothing settles back under our face, the, the face comes out. Her hair against the coat is lovely. It doesn't look too orange. Uh, I can see from the colors of the coat and the colors in the face and hair, I know exactly why this woman would wear this. She's got beautiful cheekbone definition. Although this is one color being used in the hat, in the coat, in the shoes, there's a continuity. It is broken up by the belt and the hair and the face. I don't find it even boring at all. Um, it's a monochromatic look. Maybe it has a bit of a military styling for this occasion, and I think it just looks great. I, I don't know the significance of that brooch there, but <laughs> it's, I'm okay with it. It's not disturbing the look at all. Uh, I think this is one of her best and most successful looks color-wise and probably also style-wise.
Here we have Kate at a meeting of some sort and she's wearing this dress. Um, overall pretty good. I mean I can see her. Uh, the lighting is nice. Her hair color is okay. The dress is, I don't find this the most beautiful dress that she's ever worn. And I don't know if it's the camo print. Maybe it's that some of the olive colors in the dress are getting a little bit too olive, but she has these blue greens and uh, olive toned greens, warmer greens in her eyes. So the dress connects to her very well. Interestingly, the dress also connects to the blue green wall and the off white walls to her left and to her right. There are a lot of things about this dress. Something about this picture seems dull to me, but I'm not certain what it is. Is the neckline perhaps not ideal to for, for her? It's too big and too wide. Or is it maybe that the print is a little too camo looking and a more organized, crisp print would be better? Possible. But in the overall, this is uh, a nice choice for her. I can look at her clothes, I can see her, and I understand why she's wearing that piece of clothing. So I know what she's trying to communicate as opposed to clothing where you, you don't know why the person wore it. And so you're left with, well, what, what am I supposed to think about this? Kate wears pink nicely. I prefer this blush color to some of the more orange blush colors. Sometimes she'll wear a terracotta blush and I don't like that as well. I think this is nicer. The pink is a bit bright, but she's probably standing on the balcony and she wants people to see her or to be seen. The color of the clutch is nice. The color of the brick wall behind her even suits her well. She stands out nicely against it. Her hair color seems darkish, but um, it's pulled back and we can't really comment. If I were going to make a change here, it just might be, first of all, to drop the amount of eyeliner and lighten up the color of the eyeliner, but also to add a little more movement of color. Monochromatic soft blue green, the way we saw before, is an easier look than head to toe bright pink, especially a very bright pink for this person. And some of the color movement, just staying inside the same color families, like in the hat, where it moves from pink to off white to a softer burgundy, it might've been a more interesting look. But once again, where Kate really succeeds is with the style. I find this style of dress looks nice on her. And I know I, I'm not supposed to talk about style, but it does make a difference. Sometimes a color succeeds or fails based on a style. That neckline that's just a little bit closer to the face, those nice strict pleats, that looks great. And the off-whites around her, so the color of the brick wall, for example, lets her teeth be white because the brick wall is a little grayer and a little warmer. We talked about that a few pictures ago. Here's Kate in a blush colored dress. If those black bands weren't there, you wouldn't see the dress at all. Her body would have no definition. And the black seems a little bit severe next to the dress. The dress is a little warm for the woman. Uh, good hair. I wonder about a lip that's similar and a little bit deeper and replacing those black bands with either a pewter or a soft wine, possibly even replacing the skirt of the dress with something just a little bit darker. In this picture, the head to toe lightness doesn't seem to balance the top half. I'm gonna just enlarge her face a little bit. So when we enlarge, when we enlarge her face, I wonder if the natural color of the cheeks is a little bit bluer than that dress. And I wish her lips had a bit more definition. I got a good comment recently that there were rules about what royals can wear as lipstick, which I didn't know about. And so maybe there's some sort of convention, but the hair uh, is lovely with her face. And I don't even mind this blush, the color of the dress. Uh, I would change the band and I would put something more interesting in the skirt. My eyes are, are jumping around and having trouble settling. I feel like I'm in an ongoing negotiation situation here. Um, 
It is difficult for me to understand why this woman is wearing these colors. That fuchsia, it, it steps in front of her a little bit, but it also, uh, the blush looks too orange and something about this feels like nonsense to me. I, I don't know why she's wearing that. The pants, there's enough darkness in Kate's upper half to balance a fair bit of darkness, but the black is really very black. I can't see any details in it. And if I go looking for the same color in her hair, I don't know that the tones in the hair get that black, that ink or that intense. Uh, a softer gray and a different kind of pink would have been better. This isn't, this is not my, my favorite outfit uh, of Kate's. Lots of good things here. I see her face nicely illuminated. Uh, her hair, I can see her hair very nicely. It frames her face. The green is a bit bright for Kate. It steps in front of her. There are greens in her eyes that are like this, but the dress is greener than the eyes are green. And so the eyes have no choice but to look a little bit duller in comparison. Not a bad dress for an occasion. Um, but it is a bit on the bright side. I'm, I, when I look at her face and I widen my awareness to what she's wearing, I'm a little more aware of it than I want to be. Um, I think, you know, we look, we try all sorts of colors. All of us do. We try this and we try that. And we hope the world sees us as creative and exploring. You know, we hope the world sees us in all kinds of ways that mostly live in our own head. And then... <laughs> participating in the world as it is what I think the world sees is someone who's looking for themselves but they haven't found the person or they haven't settled on the person and um, it, nothing wrong with that again it's just control your appearance control your presentation what others see from it so for a party dress this is uh, this is great if I were interviewing this person wearing this at 10 o'clock in the morning I'd be uh, negotiating the face, the dress, the face, <laughs> the face, the dress. We're now in January of 2020. Gosh, uh, this is just uncomfortable. The, this head to toe unalleviated camel. And you wonder what that coat cost. Eh? And I, this idea that people have to have a camel coat and, uh, I do not think this is Kate's version of camel, let's say. It looks uh, boring and it looks heavy. Everything is just dragging down. I do not perceive this as chic. I'm going to enlarge the picture a little bit and look at her eyes. Uh, the hair's not... I can see the tones from the hair in the, dra in the coat but I just don't care for that hair color on Kate. I think it needs to be darker and cooler. The black with the coat just appears severe. Again, I don't get a feeling of chic. These terracotta tones in the cheeks with no lips. Uh, Kate, I think Kate has looked fresher and better than this. And I think we've seen an appearance that has a lot more lift. This seems to, all the energy appears to be dragging down instead of lifting upwards. We saw that too in the Blondes Going Brunette video, that picture of Bella Hadid, the, the, um, the one I showed you that I thought was so beautiful. You feel the lift, right? Everything just elevates and the energy goes up as opposed to something very heavy and warm um, and dull. On someone else, that's a beautiful coat. I don't find it beautiful on Kate. Wearing a dark coat and a bright scarf. First thing I see is the scarf. And then from now on, that's going to be the thing I try not to see when I look around. Uh, the hair is warm. I'm never comfortable with warm hair on Kate. If they could just keep the darkness and cool it off a little bit, like her eyebrows, that might be better. The blush is somewhat terracotta, possibly to go with the hair. But I don't find the blush and the scarf together terrific. Also the white in the scarf and the teeth are not terrific together. And, and um, you know, if the clothes are winning, well, then the person isn't. Is, there's no other thing that can happen. Um, the scarf is too bright. The coat is just there. It's not enhancing her. We want our clothes to make us look better. 
and we want to make our clothes look better because they're on our body and those are not the relationships I see going on here. We are now in February of 2021 and for some reason I think this is lovely. Um, what is lovely about it? Her teeth look white. Next to the blouse that she's wearing, her teeth look clear and brilliant and white. Blush a little too warm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is a little too warm, but she has a little bit of a, a lipstick on and it's fantastic. Uh, it's not too much for her. It's just a soft kind of rosewood color. Her hair is a good level of darkness. Whether it's the lighting, I don't know, but it doesn't look orange. Could it look a little bit green? Yeah, maybe it looks a little bit green. I, I find that it could still be cooled off a little bit, but not too bad. Um, I, I get the simplicity of the clothes helps her a lot. That soft navy blue is beautiful on her. Much better. We saw at the beginning that sapphire colored dress and it was great, but I think this is better because it lets her be. This is, it looks peaceful. It's not the clothes that are radiant. It's the woman that's radiant. That's a better way for the relationship to work. I think this is a lovely picture of Kate. She looks beautiful here. The only thing I might do would be to consider cooling the blush down, just getting the orange tones out of the blush. Lipstick grade, eyes are nice without feeling surrounded by black, nothing severe about the eyes, and possibly those greenish tones in the hair, I would cool off and get closer to the color of the eyebrows. Um, otherwise, I think she looks great. Thank you for being here for Kate's color evolution. More than any other celebrity, Kate really is a role model for wearing colors that suit her. But like all of us, there are improvements that can be made. And if Kate had her colors properly analyzed, she would be able to make those improvements easily. So Kate, if you are ever in Eastern Canada and you get an afternoon off, call me and we'll spend an afternoon and we will get this sorted out. We'll see if William can take the kids up to the water park. <laughs> Thanks again for being here, everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye.